Hello folks. Well, the snow's really been flying here this winter and we're seeing the worst cold weather ever. So, you know, when I get a break, I fly my simulator. It's the only way to stay in practice, in the, uh, especially when you're flying big stuff where you can't fly indoors. We all know the reasons I fly the Aerofly Sims from my past videos, even though I have the others, but the others just seem to be more like video games uh, and not really like flying. You know, Aerofly is just more challenging to me, you know, uh, like, like the real flying stuff. So, a lot of people flying quadcopters these days because they're pretty easy. So I thought I'd show you all the quadcopters in RC-7, plus two of my favorites of the new planes and helicopters. By the way, the new Aerofly RC-7 Pro version is now out and be downloaded for only 99 bucks. It's absolutely amazing. You really want to fly, you'll love it. When the following shots, I've tried to use two different things, including my new Garmin camera aimed at the screen to see what it looks like and if more iry lines show up and how that works. So before flying tonight, I found an update and just went ahead and downloaded it. It's just to fix some minor issues. You know, quadcopters are really great fun. They're good for camera work. They're especially good for those who can't fly helicopters or airplanes. You know, just about anybody can fly the Blade 350QX with GPS running the show. You know, it makes me look good anyway. But if something goes wrong, GPS fails or something, then it's a real good idea to know how to fly it the real way. Well, I'm happy to say that I know how to fly it, but if I can't see it well enough to tell where it is at all times, I'm going to lose it. But hey, what can go wrong? Well, I'm sure many of you can relate, because I sure can. But the biggest drawback for most is the fact that orientation is usually the, their demise. You know, the great thing about the Aerofly Sim is the planes are all modeled after the real planes and models, including DJI and stuff. And they also can be scaled up in size to 200%, including the mass. Well, flying Aerofly is not a video game. It's a seriously good training program. You can't let go of the sticks for a second, unlike some of the others. It keeps you busy, and it's very good practice, just like real life. So again, in this program, learning to fly the quads is as easy as real ones, but orientation is the same. And for that reason, RC-7 produces excellent training for the day something does go wrong and you have to fly back using your own eyes and skill. You really have to be oriented. You know, my Blade 350QX, I think of all of the quads I have as easiest. I mean, when you lock that thing in, it is, it's like on a rail, like on a beam straight to space. It doesn't re deviate a bit. Pretty amazing stuff. And, of course, it makes you look good when you do something wrong and just throw the switch and it comes back. <laughs> Other people watching don't know that. But if something goes wrong, you uh, would really embarrass yourself if you didn't know how to really fly it. It's good practice in RC-7 to actually learn how to fly it the right way in case something goes wrong. And, hey, what could go wrong? Okay, now I'm going to fly two of my favorites. The first is the Cap 10. I mean, this is just a great flying airplane, and we're going to turn it on now. Uh, let me adjust the wind here. We'll crank that up to about 8 miles an hour. Okay. And 
I want to change this to the orange version. I like it better. A great color scheme, huh? I'm going to fly my helicopter, so uh, if you're going to land, I'll wait. Okay. Well, the Goblin 770 is my favorite electric helicopter to fly. Uh, my favorite gas helicopter is the Hirobo SDX-50.